Well, this is a wild Friday. Anybody's uh, fly get delayed? <laughs> but I made it. I made it. That's the important thing, right? All right. Any wild stories uh, so far for the convention? I know it's only been a couple hours. We got all day tomorrow and all day Sunday. Any wild stories so far? No. Nope. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. I, I did hear that was a long line. Yeah, I saw it too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Is everybody coming tomorrow too? Or is it, yeah? All right. Tomorrow's going to be nuts. It's going to be Saturday. So it's, it's going to be a lot nuts than what it is right now. No, somebody mentioned Finland. So that's you. Okay, wow, Finland, wow, that is awesome, that is awesome. How's the weather over there right now? How's the weather? Cold? No, yeah, it's hot in Texas, I'll tell you that. <laughs> yes, I came from Austin, so it's, uh, I'm, I'm enjoying the SoCal weather, I love it. <laughs> Where's everybody else? <laughs> I thought I was running late. You had one of the coolest seasons. You had also one of the coolest storylines. Because you got not just to start off with the dark side a little bit, and then you know, walk your way back. Where are they? Started off with the dark side, then I still had a dark side, but a good side. But then I got to play pool at the same time, so that, that was great. <laughs> Oh, and here we go. All right. <laughs> I don't have any lights on me, but thanks. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? All right, man. Good to see you, man. Good to see you. What's right. happening? Oh, no. Hold on. So there's us, too. Good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I thought I was like. I think maybe. Uh, I, I know Nemo's here. I don't know. If, yeah. You can do pre-questions if you guys want to do pre-questions. <laughs> how much how much money did you lose? Okay. Good. So I don't know I don't know you anything. Okay. But all all the people I paid to show up, I'll, we'll talk later. Yeah. Good answer. <laughs> Wait, so remind me what season you're from again? Wild Force. Wild Force, okay. You go ahead. Oh, okay. But no, it, it, was, it was weird for me because, yeah, that they were already on set for, see, I came in in beginning of February, I want to say. They had started in November. So I remember they were in, Jack and Jessica and Allison and Phil were, and Ricardo were in the same room watching, and I won't forget it, they were watching Air Force One, Harrison Ford. Air Force One walked in, walked, walked in. Ilya, Ilya, Master Org was was the first terrorist that Harrison Ford hit with the chair in that. So yeah, that, that, that was ironic that he was in the you know they, they were they were watching that. They came in and I said I was I was like you know hey uh, what's up guys I'm 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 number six you know and they they were like what okay so they played a joke on me what who number. We don't know anything number and I was I was like really shy. I was I didn't want to step on anybody's toes. Number number six, number six. Okay, whatever, dude. Yeah, anyway, yeah, we're just watching this movie. You want to sit down? Um, okay. No, we're just we're messing with you, dude. Hey, hey, how are you? You know, shaking hands. And so to answer the question, it was um, they were very welcoming, and the rest is history. We're friends ever since. You know. Hey man, and met this cat last November in, 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 in Dallas. How's it going, man? So the question was, what was it like showing up uh, later? Well, most of us did show up later than our first five Rangers, what was it I like reckon. In terms of just like camaraderie like, and like joining a crew, uh, a cast that had already formed kind of a friendship mm. or a, or a crew. I had what? I had Gemma. That's true. That's true. But we were alone. <laughs> have you have you even watched it? <laughs> If it's like, because I mean, she, the other characters He's say that. He's testing your fandom now. <laughs> it's yeah. Jim and Gemma. Yep. Jim and Gemma. Uh, how, what was it like? It was, 
Uh, you mean from the actor's point of view, mainly? Yeah, I right? guess just as like going in, it's like being a part of yeah. a new school, I guess. Uh, well, I had actually worked with Ari, who was the Blue Ranger on a previous uh, project, so it's not like I didn't know everyone. But yeah, there is a kind of thing where it's, it, there is a slight kind of uh, uh, I don't know, like a. Uh, yeah. A click, a click almost. Yeah, yeah, but it's not. Yeah, it's not. It wasn't like anything like uh, crazy, because you know they they know you're coming in and they're they're welcoming too. Um, you're all a part of the same team, but there is. Yeah, it is. Uh, I don't know. How do, that's a good question. My actually. cast, my <laughs> cast was already almost sick of each other, so me coming in, <laughs> I kind of like shook it up. I was like a breath of fresh air, and they were like, oh, a new guy, thank you. <laughs> and I was like full of energy and full of life, and they were like, we're so tired, and we don't want to talk to each other. And, and I kind of I shook things up, and made, yeah, I, brought, yeah, I think I at least tried to bring some energy nice. to it, and, and it, if I think I fit in seamlessly. We can talk to them. They might be different. But, <laughs> that Cameron uh, Jibo guy. Yeah. <laughs> no, I will say I, I did kind of miss out on like the full boot camp. Like you got told that they had this full on like week boot, boot camp or however yeah. many weeks it was. Mm -hmm. And it's like you come in and it's like, oh, where's the boot camp? Yeah, this Power Rangers boot camp is like, oh, you don't get one. <laughs> <laughs> that was for on my, on my season anyway. Yeah. I'm not sure about they you guys. They trained but, for like two weeks beforehand yeah. and then another week in New Zealand. Yeah, and I was and looking forward to it. I was like, yeah, that's sick. Like parent just boot camp? Hell yeah. It's like, nope. <laughs> I got trained. <laughs> oh, no. It was too much. No, they gave us like a couple of days or something, yeah. but it wasn't like a full on boot camp. Yeah. Jeff? Yeah, uh, what was it? I got in here late. What was the question? Okay, I'm going to answer that question, but first, I want to do an Instagram of you guys. Can you guys all scream for me? Are you guys cool with that? <laughs> that I should have done that too. God you guys it. are so awesome. Thank you. Um, nice. It's live. It's actually not live, just, but it's on. I'll steal it from your social pages. Yes. Steal it. Steal away. And then um, I'll just say I did it. Andrew did it. Joining live, late. Andrew. You know what? It was weird because they did treat me. I got treated exactly how my character got treated me when I first got to set. Everyone was working really hard and I was traveling around Auckland and they were just so frustrated with me, which was really good because my character kind of went through that trajectory. Um, so yeah. That's how it went. And thank you guys for the cheer. It looks amazing. Hi, my name is Eminem. No, I'm kidding. Um, Hi, Justin. What was it like to be coming in to the season of the Sixth Ranger? I, to be honest with you, I didn't even know that I was the Sixth Ranger. I just was told <laughs> I was going to be a Power Ranger. And then after I was on there, I realized that. But um, they had actually told Chris, the Red Ranger, don't like that guy. Don't hang out with him. Don't go to his house and don't talk to him. <laughs> so what did I do? I went and found the girls. <laughs> and then after I found the girls, he got jealous and he's like, okay, now I need to be his friend. So, but uh, no, coming into the sets, you know, halfway through the season, it's like those guys already had everything all set up. They're buddies and I'm this outcast, fifth wheel, sixth wheel, however you want to call that. But yeah. um, everybody clicked pretty well. So it went, it went easy enough that I guess they accepted me. I'm still here. <laughs> <laughs> you're not dead. Now, are we all sixth or are some of us seventh or... I'm like a five. You're, five you're or something, like a something, right? Half. Five, six, seven. I know. Four, four and a half. Crashing yeah. the party. You're a sixth, right? Yeah. I think I'm seventh. Seventh? Okay. Right? That's cool. Oh. Tied. No, 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 no. Because you know how they all have the numbers? Yeah, yeah, the, you're six, uh, yeah. You got to remember no, no, no. I for... I think I'm seven. Right? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. No, the crocodile. Well, she it, wasn't a crocodile. There was no crocodile in my. Yeah, they do. Yeah. They do. Are you guys arguing with a Power Ranger? Holy cow. What's wrong? Somebody's going to get beat up. You got to remember, <laughs> it's right. been at the very least for each of us, it's been five years since we. No, I, I only remember because I. Uh, so it's gonna be a plug, but I mean, they just gave me a free jacket. So uh, this is like the. This is you know how in my season they we got like crappy track suits, and then I wanted the cool uh, leather jackets that the core rangers had. Well, he they made me this black leather jacket, and it's the gold version of it. But they were gonna. It's not finished. They were gonna put the the number on the back. So that's only reason why I know that there's a number because they recently. There you go, seven. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> seven oh. jackets is out there in the middle. Yep. 
All right. So <laughs> speaking of that, though, uh, costuming cool things. Most of you guys got to have a really awesome special color. If you had to pick a different color, though, than the one you had, which would you pick? Pink. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would have to say rainbow so that I had all the colors. <laughs> there you go. OP. The LGBTQ ranger. Word. <laughs> That's good. Come to our panel. Come to our panel tomorrow night. Oh yeah, they have an LGBT. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, I personally, I still wanted to to put on the Christmas silver ranger. <laughs> the, the red, the red and green. You know, that was that was something that I'm jealous that I didn't get to do. <laughs> among other things. Uh, instead of instead of blue and gray, I'd probably go straight gray. Represent the Dallas Cowboys. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Wait, who who are you doing that to? <laughs> All right. So people line up for questions over here. Make a line over here. In the meantime, I'll ask one last one for these guys about anything they may have accidentally borrowed from set as they left. <laughs> Borrowed. Am I allowed to stand in line and ask questions too, or? Oh, I mean, I'll, oh, yeah. you, you can always. Inter- yeah, you want to, yeah. Anything that we walked off with uh, from set by accident. Um, I accidentally got the chair that I was setting in during, you know, when we take a break, set in the chair. I accidentally got that. I, I, you guys probably know half of you guys. Maybe none of you. I borrowed my suit. Did you really? I did. Sick. I didn't get the armor because that was too much to borrow. <laughs> but the spandex, I definitely borrowed. Nice. <laughs> yeah. I was a good boy. I didn't really take anything, so we just pass it along to Cameron. G. <laughs> <laughs> that was nice. <laughs> you, you do your thing, because he's got a whole thing. Oh, yeah. They, they gave us our whole um, wardrobe. I mean, they had, you know, first, second unit, then stunt double. But they let us keep the, I guess what they said, $1,000 custom-made jacket, which is out at my booth. Then I had black leather pants, which I don't exactly fit into anymore. Uh, it's been about 17 years. And then the, uh, what's that? No, no, that's fine. Okay. Or buy a new pair, you know, to kind of, you know, match. But, you know, yeah. But, uh, no, they, I mean, they were, well, yeah, because Disney at the time in 02 had bought it from Saban. Yeah before Saban bought it back from Disney. So Disney had pretty much was ready to make it non and move it to New Zealand. And Jeff, y'all were the year after, right? Jeff? Two years. Y'all, y'all were the year after, right? Two years. It was a two that went to New Zealand. Oh, we, we were in New Zealand? Is that the question? <laughs> no. I was taking a picture of this guy. I'm no, so no, sorry. after us, because we were last year in L.A. Were, okay, yeah, so Ninja the Storm was in L.A., uh, in New Zealand before us, the year yeah, before. Yeah, so we're yeah, year two? Yeah, it was two. Year two. Yeah. Yeah. Two after that, yeah. So... I guess basically they just wanted to get rid of everything, so I guess we kind of lucked out on that. Um, and they just gave us, huh? Hmm? What's that? Uh, they locked my down? season. They locked my season up. Really? I'm talking. They wouldn't give you guys anything. No, I mean I couldn't even get the fake plastic second-hand version of my bracelet. The question that was, I, like, oh. like. They Sorry, went you should have borrowed they it. They went through our trailers. Yeah, that's, that's the question. <laughs> they went through our trailers. They went through our backpacks. They went. They didn't let us I mean, have. They even let the like security the, guards go the, and grab stuff in our trailer. And it's all the seasons before <laughs> yeah, that had like it. actually borrowed stuff that yeah. they made. They cracked it down on you yeah, guys. So. Yeah. They. So thank. And we even season, like, like. Yeah. We, li- okay. I didn't borrow anything, but like what was borrowed from my set from was like the all of the leather jackets. And like some guns and stuff. So. Those are good borrows. Yeah. Well, my leather jacket was made custom or fit to me, mm. and it was Italian glove leather, which is like Whoa, super okay. soft and fancy, and it's also <laughs> silver. So it was like a two to three thousand dollar jacket. Dude. And so now, if if I ever go to a Power Rangers sponsored event, like a Saban or now Hasbro, um, they'll bring my jacket. Should have borrowed it from. Hyper they'll Post. put it on me. And then they'll literally rip it off oh. me and take it back. Okay. Like they, they're strict. Yeah, they're like, okay, thank you. Yeah. Take it back. I'm like, okay. Yeah. Oh, they're strict. I'll just push you down off. Yeah, they're strict. Well. Yeah. Get out of here. Yeah, spit at you. Yeah. Like Melissa, Melissa yeah. just spitting. We at have you. a line. We should let them. Yes. We're All rambling. Right. Our first question. Hi, my name is Anthony Geeman from Pennsylvania. I play Ty from Digimon. No, up, I man? wish. <laughs> Uh, my question to you guys is, uh, say Saban or President of Havers, oh, it doesn't matter at this point, uh, contacts you guys and says, guys, I realize how awesome you all are. I want to give you a due. I want to do a tribute to all the six Rangers of the past. What will it take to get you guys here for shooting? Make it union. 
unionize the show would be that would that would be something to bring us back for like a season no well here's the thing a lot of people you know they'll ask you know like especially with the anniversary season, episode they'll be like oh yeah. hey are you coming back or like if they ask you back but uh actually should i bring this up no i probably shouldn't I'm just saying up there with yeah. red rangers six it. rangers it would take, no i mean obviously they'd have to pay us and it, they would basically they would have to treat us like another like a real cast member just like they did for the legendary <laughs> rangers in the legendary <laughs> battle it was it was essentially like that. They cut a deal that was very fair and very. Uh, I guess it was as lucrative as being just a ranger on on our season, but just for one or two episodes. So, but some of us actually can't come back to Power Rangers. A lot of people don't know because it's a non-union show, and if you're in the oh, union, yeah, you actually yeah, can't. Yeah, yeah. Go, oh yeah, I guess we can't go back that's, now. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That was. Oh uh, yeah. Point. I don't. I'm a Disney you actor, and they never reuse Disney actors. So nope. sorry, guys. All I'm I wish saying I was is that back. Forever Red was awesome enough. Why not use the Six Rangers? Just yeah. <laughs> Forever Special. I agree. I agree with that. That's fantastic. Good question. All right. Next Great question. question. Let Hasbro know. Hi, my name is Lucas Hahn, and I love watching Power Rangers. I really like the Sixth and Extra Rangers. They're really awesome. Yeah. Thanks, man. Thank you. Thanks. We like um, you. I also want to have the gold medal. This is for or Jason David Frank, even though he's not here. But tomorrow, I really want to. I want to show this to them because I won the gold medal in Taekwondo JKI tournament three years ago. Congratulations, Congratulations man. Thanks. Um, you should be a ranger. So um, for you guys, um, when you play the six rangers, does it actually um, change, change your life? Yeah. I got a little bit taller. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, we get stretched out quite a bit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah it definitely changes your life. It's an, it's an entire life experience. Like... How many, how many Power Rangers are there in this world? A hundred? Yeah, about there. I mean, six, six, six and how many not. Sixth Rangers are there yeah. in the world? Ten? Even ten. less. Yeah. So, yeah, we're, we're as special as special gets. I would ride the short bus if I had to. <laughs> <laughs> and it's awesome. It's, it's made, made things so much different in life, you know, from <laughs> being able to come yeah. to things and do things like this. <laughs> All right. Now we can start the show, guys. Let's go. <laughs> All right. So next question. Hey, thanks, dude. Congratulations. Let's uh, everyone give a big round of applause to Dan Southworth, everybody. Dan Southworth. The only one who gets to be here as a red and sixth. <laughs> He's lucky that way. Buffest <laughs> Power Ranger in the room. Damn yeah. self. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I apologize for coming in late on you guys. I just got in. So, so to recap, <laughs> what, what was it like joining a cast late? Except you didn't, did you? I did join the cast late, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. What was that like? Uh, what was that like? Did they already have like... I remember thinking, man, that means I, I missed out on 12 extra episodes of getting Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. There you go. No That's weird. What that was like no weird like clicks in the cast that you had to like infiltrate or, or prove <laughs> yourself. Oh, I, I don't. Story. They, story you, you know, <laughs> for most people, their memory fails them, and my cast tells me that they didn't think that there was anything off or that there was any animosity. But when I joined, I thought that they were kind of new to the the um, the what's it called. No, not the acting world. They were sort of new to the whole scheme of how Power Rangers works. So they thought I was there to replace one of them. Oh, oh what? And I let them believe that for about two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. You ask them now, they have no recollection of that. But that's That's fine. good. I didn't know that. Oh, that's awesome. That's great. All right. So... First off, thank you guys for all taking pictures with me. I make it a habit to collect pictures with the six rangers, so that was awesome. Amazing, thank you. Thanks, man. Um, and then Dan got added in for this, but I'm still going to ask the same question. Team silver, team gold, or team white? Well, you're, what, are, what are you asking me about these teams? <laughs> Any in general. Which team are you on the side of? Which team am I? Am I what? If he had to choose one, I, if he had to choose one. I don't know if one. you see the color of this helmet here. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, maybe that's I know. why I'm confused. Yeah. And that was actually for all of you, too. I think that was yeah. just option A, B, and C, but he just threw in D. Final answer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think all these guys are pretty rad. It wouldn't matter to me. I don't have to choose because I got to be all of it. 
I got to. Oh. I got my And the winner over. is. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like silver, gold, red, green, white. Yeah, I'm all of them. Hi, guys. What's up, dude? Hello. Cool hat. Hi. So the six slash seven slash whatever special number ranger usually gets their own special Megazord while all the other rangers have to cram together in their own separate one. What's yeah. it like having your own personal giant robot. It's very spacious. I have a big screen TV inside mine. <laughs> yeah. yeah, people always trying to come crash in my Megazord. Yeah. <laughs> gets lonely. <laughs> it gets lonely. <laughs> I never have to worry where the remote is because I know where I left it last. <laughs> oh. uh, you had a remote in yours, huh? That's amazing. Oh, yeah, I, I, was, I would just think what I wanted it to do. Yeah. <laughs> well, you had higher technology. You had, you had. Okay, I'm going to... Okay. Universe. <laughs> I'm going to have to talk to my, my representative about that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Next what question. Else? <laughs> Hi, my name's Chris. Hi, Chris. Hey, Chris. Uh, What's up, Chris? So it's kind of a two-part question. Uh, the first part is before you guys, when you guys were cast, did you do any research on your Sentai counterparts? And the second part is, um, are you all you jealous that Super Mega Silver here has all your powers? <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, it was actually a, it's a privilege long room, for him buddy, to and have three our <laughs> It was a privilege for him to have the powers. <laughs> yeah. um, it really was yeah. a privilege. Yeah. <laughs> he felt them, special because he had a little of all of us up in him. Yeah. What was <laughs> it? it makes him feel very <laughs> okay. special. It's like being blood brothers. A little here, a little here, a little here. Did Wait that, a minute. That so test bond... 20, what was that called? The, the test 23 or whatever? You test your blood and see what, oh, where you come 23 from? 23 and me. You have so many origins now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I have all 23. Even from like other galaxies from in space. So they finally found a way to hire one actor to play all the Power Rangers. That's, that's, <laughs> that sounds like Saban. <laughs> <laughs> but why aren't you still there if you are the ultimate forever one? Why think, am I you still You would think there? that if you were the baddest to the bone that they would have said, here, let's put you on another show and another show and another oh, show. Oh, because I'm out in the galaxies now, multiple galaxies fighting what you guys on Earth can't fight. <laughs> Thank you for doing that for us. Guys, I'm going to sit down there with you guys and watch this. You know, but I'm also keeping them from coming to Earth, so you guys have some bad guys here, and I'll take care of the rest. <laughs> I'm also hel you're helping me because I have your powers, so thank you. Listen, he has not only all of our powers, but all of our arrogance combined. <laughs> <laughs> just have to let it roll, man. Roll. Oh, yeah. So the part of your question, did we study our Sentai counterpart? I was halfway through the year before I ever knew there was a Sentai. Same. I, Sorry. Oh. oh, I got a couple, couple episodes in before Azim was like, yeah. these are DVDs from Japan. Uh, I love Azim. <laughs> they watch them? Watch these. Yeah. And I was like, what? And yeah, they put them in and it's like, this guy's nothing like me. What? Yeah. Like, but, what was he like? Oh, he was flamboyant and uh, a little more feminine, a lot more feminine than me. Uh, very I, colorful. His costume was way different. Like, they totally strayed from my Sentai counterpart. I watched. I watched um, before I shot anything. I got a bunch of DVDs from the Sentai footage. And he was really, like, oh, man, that, that was... They're so weird. Aberkiller was so amazing to watch. Yeah, I, I can't hold a straw against him. Oh, my guy was a super fan. My Sentai, he's, he's like a, a super fan of the Mega Force Rangers. He was like a fanboy of the Mega Force oh. Rangers. Yeah. <laughs> I've not watched, sorry, I've not watched any Sentai besides the first episode of Gowanja, and I kind of left it at. Yep, that, that's episode. totally fair. Huh? I need, I need to give it a shot, right? Yeah. Well, all right, all right. You, you, uh, you, yeah, you played the polar opposite of a Japanese counterpart. You're yeah, I, yeah. So my guy was kind of like uh, super serious, psychotic, and super serious. And he was like super, like cool and serious, and kind of yeah. like yeah, <laughs> yeah, which is awesome. Okay. All right, next, <laughs> but next then again, question. I was old Thank school, you. So. Uh, I just have a statement for Dan, real quick. Uh, I've seen you in other things outside of Power Rangers when you played a villain. 
You know what I'm talking about. I thought it was awesome. But my question I don't know why, is, but I, I suddenly I remembered this strip club from four years ago. <laughs> there was a pole dance and a G-string. I don't know. Well, that's not what I was talking about, but all right. <laughs> it, had to, it had to do with dinosaurs, but all right, my dude. Um, uh, my question is, is, did any of you know that you was going to be the sixth ranger before the show actually aired? And if you did not know, after the fact, when you found out what you would be doing, would you have still done it today? I think oh, we wow. all pretty much knew as a sixth ranger before it started airing. I didn't know. You didn't know that? No, I didn't know. Actually, I was just I a didn't guy know named either. Trent. Yeah. No? They didn't um, tell you? Yeah. Wow. No, I... I knew it was a six ranger yeah, within a couple of I thought I was going to be some obscure villain for three episodes, and that would have been it. I thought I was just going to be a waiter. The waiter. <laughs> the waiter in the show at Haley's. Yeah. <laughs> they, they told me, I, I knew I was going to be the six ranger because I actually auditioned for the six ranger after being told that I was the favorite for the red ranger. So the producers and the casting director had told me that, they were, that I was their pick for the red ranger. And then Haim Saban came in and threw me out <laughs> and put Andrew Gray in. And then, and then, so then I got the call from them saying, we're sorry, you're not the Red Ranger. Will you please come back in a few months and audition again for the Silver Ranger? So I did. So that's how I found out that I was the Sixth Ranger and not the Red Ranger and not the Sixth Ranger and then the Sixth Ranger. All right. Crazy. Well, that's really cool. You thought you were a waiter, so you didn't have to do <laughs> backflips and, no. and show weird stuff to audition 17 times. No, I, go to our auditions were audition not times? like any of that. We just acted a scene. I, my scene, I argued with my dad, do which the, they used portions of it. You know the episode where I find the wormhole? or the, the Right? It was really funny. It was so awkward to shoot that. I, it was basically that scene, but darker, because the they were trying to make it a more mature Power Rangers, and then Disney kind of like took a samurai sword to it. And <laughs> I had a feeling when he said that up. he was just thinking he was a waiter. His audition part was, here, let's do this. Yeah, well, you do. Yeah, no. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> My God, you win! You make a really good waiter, by the way. I'll yeah. hire you. Oh, wait, on the other hand, too. <laughs> was it uh, Clash for Control where... Do you guys remember that episode from Time Force? Yeah. I think I, I realized while we were making that episode, I, I said to myself, I think, I think I'm one of these Red Rangers. <laughs> it was really weird to have that happening as we were making the episode. <laughs> Go ahead. First of all, you, you guys are awesome. Hey, thanks. I, thanks, I always look forward, to, look forward to, seeing, to seeing your characters show up. And, and, and my question is for, for, for all you guys, would you have liked your characters to have, to have had some romances in your seasons? Yeah, I got, I got to touch Kira's shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. I actually saw her last night. She says hi to everyone. Aww. <laughs> is she here? No. <laughs> actually, no. She I was mean, tied up, like, can't, can't get away. To a tree. How far does... Pa oh, sorry, go on. Sorry, I didn't realize no, no, I was just wondering how far has... Uh, sorry, I haven't seen a lot of seasons, but how far has Power Rangers gone with romance? Not sometimes very. they kiss, like once or twice. No. Sometimes they kiss, so not... Like, there's, Do they, there's been like two kisses. There two was a kiss kisses? in Time Force, wasn't there? Because you made that joke, and I was... There was a, well, no, there no, was no, a romance mean, in Time Force, okay, I can what's tell the you that. Have they, have they made out? <laughs> have they, has there been any make-out <laughs> sessions, or no? Just a kiss. Just a kiss. Gia, Gia, I think you're missing one there because I like, Astronomer I and Zane. There was definitely some chemistry. Totally made out. I'd say there was definitely some chemistry between me and Allison. <laughs> yeah, for me it was just a shoulder. <laughs> or I was will fine never by love it. again. <laughs> Sorry. So right. Princess Shayla and I'm so I sorry. had plenty of romance. No too, one's answered so the that question. Was all season long. <laughs> And there was a bromance between me and, and Wes. Yeah. All right. Loudermilk and I formed quite a bromance, I think. There was a lot of romance in the air. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Male-heavy show. Oh. <laughs> All right, next question. Thank you Thanks. for your question. Hi, uh, my name is Seth from Pennsylvania. Hey, my Seth question from Pennsylvania. is for What's Mike. Up, 
What was it like coming back for Power Rangers Hyperforce and doing something that maybe you'd never done before, but still as your character? Uh, so Cameron and I did yeah. Hyperforce. It was honestly, it was like 10 years since I played my character and then I played, it was good to uh, kind of like revive the guy, you know, and just play him again. Uh, kind of surprisingly, I don't know how it was for you, but uh, I kind of just fell right into it. Yeah. I mean, I guess it would be different. You, you, you know, you, there was less time for you, but even after almost, 10 years, it was like, I just fell back into him. It was, it was like five really years for me. He's yeah. a natural. Okay, okay, five years. It was, it was, a lot, it enough, was a fun, though. Enough time really that I was like, oh, I was a little nervous and like, what, what if I don't do it justice? What if, you know? But with such an open format, with the improv and the kind of like art role playing kind of vibe mm. of it all, it, it came quite naturally. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I had a lot of fun. Yeah, it was a blast. Yeah. Cool. Thanks yeah. for the question. Thank you. All right, our next question. Um, before I ask Sam my question, all I will say is I have to admit it right now. Q-Rex would eat all of your Zords for lunch! No, 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 Cameron. Not your, not your Q-Rex. Dan Selwert's Q-Rex! <laughs> but, <laughs> I'm sorry, but, sorry, Cam, sorry. Love you, bro. But, anyway, this one's for Mike Jin. Oh. Uh, uh, Don't hate like me, guys. Wait, wait, what's the original question? Would you eat your Zord for lunch? Is that what you said? <laughs> that's <laughs> no, what no, I no. heard. I, that's no, what I said. I... The, the Q-Rex Megazord, which is no, no, no. Uh, that wasn't my question. I was just, I was just saying, I was just saying as a fact that <laughs> oh. his Q-Rex would eat all of your Zords for lunch. Oh. But my actual question okay, is for you, right. Mike. Sure. Um, Shoot. Would you love to do an all Gold Ranger team up? And uh, would your character like the song, the the Zio theme, the the Zio character theme? Go Gold Ranger. I like gold. <laughs> I like gold. gold. Is that Goldfinger? Is that Goldfinger just then? <laughs> gold uh, all of my. I haven't heard the Zio. Can you sing it? So the song. Can you sing it for me, please? I know some of it, but no, no, you know, it's like it, yeah. quick as lightning, strong as steel. Watch out for when he appears. I like gold. He strikes his gold ranger. Like gold. He definitely would I, love it. I, I would like it if it had the uh, gold finger <laughs> like throughout it. But uh, would I like the, would I like the song? Yeah, I would like the song. Uh, was, that was the question, right? And would I like an all gold team? Hell yeah, why not? Yeah. Why not? All right. Why not? Uh, dude. I'll be blinded. I'll be blinded. <laughs> uh, Justin, this question's for you. How did it feel to get struck by lightning? <laughs> did you really get struck by lightning or did your character get struck by lightning? Because <laughs> I don't know. Sorry, I haven't... I don't... I... It's a good question. How did it feel to get stuck, struck by movie lightning or real it, lightning? It really yeah, pulled I would, the powers out of me and put powers back into me. And, uh, you know, the day we shot that, it was really bright on my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Hurt. I'm trying to. They actually tased him for the show. So. <laughs> they did it in reverse, really. It's just lightning bolts coming out of me. Well, Alpha is very proud. Alpha is very proud, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Right. Next question. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Jess. I just want to know, how was Power Rangers as an acting experience for all y'all? Um, yeah. How was it as an acting experience? Yeah. yeah. yeah it, was, it, was, it was my first gig, so, yeah. you know, I'd, I went in there and... Yeah. It, thank you, thank you very lucky that was my first gig but I, I went in there and I didn't really know too much about like your placing your you know you're hitting your X your, your spot so I was like I remember sitting there with Jack and Phil the like first day of shooting I looked over them I'm like I've got to hit that right there or else the kid the whole thing and they're like yep. oh wow and then and then say my line at the same time and hit this you're like oh, and then wow. and then pose and then, and then pose you're like I gotta Talk do all that all at once, and they're like, "All right, uh, you guys got any pointers?" <laughs> you know, so it, it, I mean, it was a tough adjustment, but experience-wise, I mean, you know, not knowing. I mean, I was I was already in high school when it debuted in '93, so I was you know obviously oh, no past way. that that time. 
Um, so I just, I knew it as a kid's show. I didn't know how big it was until I actually got on there, saw the kids coming on set. And then when they called me up to the office one day, I was like, oh no, I'm in trouble. And then they debuted this big box with my, my face and, 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 you know, action figure. I'm like, oh, this is kind of a big deal. This is kind of a big deal. And then it just started taking off and realized it. And then I just, I was so humble and realized what it was that I, I just accomplished. Like, you know, we were saying earlier, there's not, how many people, how many Power Rangers are there? Not a whole lot. You know, for every season of 20 years, that's a lot right there. Time but as a whole, it was very humbling. And, and to this day, to be able to sit here and talk to all you guys, see every one of you, be fans and everything, that is, excuse my language, but one hell of an experience. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Thank you. Nice, dude. That's really cool. What, was it everyone's, like, first main film gig? Yeah, yeah. Or, like, at least on that level? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It was mine. Internationally airing or, like, yeah, big? Yeah, yeah. Film yeah. Shout. What's that? Oh. Was it your, like, was that your first film gig or, or no? Not mine. No. It wasn't my first, but it was the first big one, but. Nice yeah. not to be a, a one-day shoot a and one. you're done with the job. Go find another <coughs> job. It's like, to go back and back was nice. Yeah. For all yeah, of this us, was the first job where I felt like I was an actor. Like, say what? Yeah. I felt like I was an actor. Yeah. Like consistently yeah. being on set, creating a family with people, moving across it's, the it's world. Definitely the first iconic show we've ever done. <laughs> yeah. Mm. I came from a theater background mm. and so. and professional training in the theater world, and then some. I had some film training, and um, so stepping onto an actual TV show set and stuff like that, it kind of legitimized all of my training. Like, it made it feel all worth it, you know? And they threw me into the fire. I was jumping around and flipping around and getting <laughs> blown up and stuff on the first day. <laughs> so, like, they didn't ease me into it. So it was, it was challenging at first, and it, I, I would say it probably got easier as the season went on because there was less emotion involved in the, ender, in the farther, farther down episodes for me. So acting experience-wise, very challenging at the beginning, a little easier at the end. Nice. It was scary. Yeah, yeah, it was it was pretty scary to be the lead in a television show like that that you know is viewed worldwide. That was a big that was a big step. And I think a lot of us probably feel like not necessarily that we don't deserve it, but it's like we were we were all, we were all relatively unknowns when we started, so we're like how can we be in a leading role? Like this is I was pretty unknown. I'm still pretty unknown. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Most of us still are. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Thanks man. Great question. Next I like that question. How you were saying something about how it became. Um, he recognized that he was doing something whenever he got the box with his picture on it, and it was, you know, his action figure. Yeah. That kind of reminds me of when I got my big box of fan mail all at one oh, time. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, it wasn't like you get one and then two. They like held that crap for months, and all of a sudden, oh, by the way, Merry Christmas. Here's a big box, and you look at it, and you're like. Wow, that's from everywhere. I literally sat down and read through all of them and tried to write them back. And that's cool. what was it like last year? I was reading them again, and I would search their names on Facebook and try to find them. <laughs> I was like, "Did you write me a letter a long time ago?" Well, thank you. <laughs> I tried to find them, like literally Facebook and Instagram, and I found a couple. It was cool. Yeah, it's cool. Awesome. I uh, I would go on to the fan sites. Oh, yeah. oh no! And uh, oh, we lurk your fan blogs. Don't you worry and, about that. Uh, yeah, and uh, I'd never seen that before. I saw all these blogs and these forums, and and they were talking about the character, and I decided to sort of chime in on one, and then to sort of reveal that yes, I am Dan Southworth, and I got so much hate. Yeah. Reply <laughs> for being phony and fake, yeah. and coming on. I just went, oh my god, and then. I just deleted everything and went, oh my God, I'm going to get fired. <laughs> so it's funny, I was actually trying to get onto those blogs and respond and interact with you guys, but you, you guys hate, hate replied me off. <laughs> my favorite thing is, is going on to some of the, I, what is it, Ranger Board? Ranger Board. The forum you're There's in? a few, well, their Instagrams Ranger and their Facebook. Yeah. Their Instagrams and their Facebooks, and there's different, like, the, the, there's like three main uh, Ranger blogs, Ranger fan blogs. I like going on and, like, liking all that, the hateful shit about our season. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Megaforce sucks! And I'll, like, like it. And see, <laughs> and see if they're like, oh, I didn't mean uh, it, like, really sucks. It's just that it could have been better. And I'm like, 
Yeah. Well, I see you. Just no, letting you, you know. Need, no, you need should, you should just, instead of just like it, you should go, explain yourself. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. <laughs> uh, or I'll be super sarcastic. I'll be like, totally, right? Like, what the hell did you mean by that? It was, it was awful. It was just such a letdown. I'm like, well, you were great. <laughs> I don't care. Like, it's just fun to see their, their Nowadays, jerk reactions. Uh, yeah. Welcome. I'm so crashing this. No, Please, right. crash it. Hey, guys. We, have a, we have a line of questions, so you're, you're here at the right time. All right. Nico. Nico? Yep. All right, everyone. Hey, guys. Big round of applause, guys. Come on. Welcome to your first panel. I hope you survive the experience. All right. Question. <laughs> Hi, my name is Ryan, and I'm from Connecticut. This is a more personal question for Jeff. How do you think, um, how do you think Trent coped with feeling the weight of having to betray, how he betrayed his friends for a time when he had to deal with, on the side, his father figure, Mizakog versus uh, Jekyll and Hyde kind of scenario? How, how do you think he coped with it? Yeah. Oh, man. Not well. <laughs> Clearly not well, you know? He was lashing out at his friends. Right? I, I would have probably personally done it differently, but uh, Trent's cooler than me. I don't know how to answer that really. It's, it's, it's a hard one to answer because um, cause I don't have the answer for it, you know? <laughs> yeah. All right. So, that's quickly, really uh, good. Too, the question was too good for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what you know, you got a good question. <laughs> so, you give Nico the question everyone else got, which is uh, what was it like coming in late to the production? Like, yeah. Oh, oh. oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. oh, yeah, no. So, yeah. So, the question is. Nick's first time. So, let's all give him a good yeah. welcome. I don't know how to do this. So, uh, so just, uh, coming so, in late. And, um, you're uh, going to be telling him all kinds of wrong things. <laughs> <laughs> We've talked a lot of trash about you while you were gone. So, <laughs> <laughs> I they're all it. prepared for you now. Wait, so what season are you from? I'm from uh, season uh, 16, Jungle Fury. Jungle Fury. Oh. That's it. And you did, you did come into the season later than the other five Rangers? That's right. I came in as the last guy. And yeah. what was that like? like did they, had they already formed like a super tight friendship? Yeah, and yeah, they did. They had did you, bonded. Did They'd gone out and, and had fun together. And by the time I arrived, they're like, we're over this. In terms of going out and doing new things. Ask him what he guys, borrowed. Guys, come on, let's let's have fun and um, yeah. Um, <laughs> Welcome to the Karen's club. like buddy. really happy about this. <laughs> <That's how it laughs> so, is. so everyone here is the is the all right, okay, all right. We're the we're the, well, basically we're the rock stars who came in. Yep. Uh, to spice things up. Yep. Yes, uh, yeah, right. Like I told right. you, just like I did right now. Yeah. yeah. That's right. <laughs> You're welcome. That's all right. Uh, we also need to know what you borrowed from the set that never got returned. Um. What did I borrow <laughs> from this? Ah, oh, man, I walked home with most of my wardrobe. Not this one. Um, uh, I, had, I had my shoes, my uh, pants. I had like, uh, oh, they gave me these kick-ass boots that I still have. <laughs> 10 years, 10 years later, I've still got my amazing boots. They're like cowboy boots, but somehow they made me look really good in them. Car cowboy boots and cargo pants. Go figure. Yeah. yeah. I had... I had to buy. I had to buy the other cast members' wardrobe from the wardrobe sale because my wardrobe was military. Uh, I couldn't very well walk around home in a paramilitary outfit. All right. Next question. So, since being a six ranger can be a lonely business, if say Jerome, <laughs> yes, uh, Jerome Stone from season five Turbo. Genius. Um, so, since being a Six Ranger can be lonely, if you could pick another Six Ranger to be a partner, much like Jem and Gemma, who would it be and why? Jack Daniels. <laughs> <laughs> you asked. Who would it be? Go. Uh, I got all I mean, of them. I don't, I don't need a radio. So I'm, like, I'm like a... What was, I'm so sorry, the question was who would so I... So if you could add another six Ranger to be like a partner, oh, six yeah, Ranger. Hey, wasn't Steven Schuyler a six Ranger? I would, I would, I would partner with, up with him. Why? I love these guys, but it would be hilarious with me and him together, man. It would, it would. <laughs> All right, running low on time, so let's move on. Faster. This one's a really, really serious one. 
All right, guys, I see helmets. I don't see props. And you guys were mentioning that you, didn't guys, you guys didn't really get to take home. So I am wondering, one, who here is in the market for me to make your new weapons? Yes, me. And two, if you do have any screen news props, who here is willing to let me have access to it so I can make the toys that Bandai didn't? Oh, that's genius. That is. Wow. This guy should be a sixth ranger. I've, he's got proof. Just right saying, there. Hasbro has spies, man. I, I'm so. <laughs> I'm trying to work for him. <laughs> All right. Prove your work. Again. So, yes, see this guy later if you want yourself a commission prop. Cheers. All right, next. That's great. Thank that's you. Awesome. Oh, really? Uh, that's right. Wow. Oh my god! Oh, that's it. That's Hi. Super rad. I'm Matt. Hey Matt. Hi, I'm Matt. SG Dustin. Just kidding. My name is Brian. I'm from Pennsylvania. Hey Brian. A lot of Pennsylvanians uh, here that today. Yeah. PA. Uh, so my question is for uh, for Cameron. Okay. I just want to let you know you have a beautiful speaking voice. And uh, what a good compliment. I was wondering, like, at the end of this, like, could I meet up with you so you could, like, set up my voicemail? Because, oh. I, I mean, I really love your voice, dude. Yeah, I, yeah. It's just Actually, great. that's super, that's, thank you. That means a lot. And, yeah, sure, I'll do your voicemail. That's right. amazing. Cool. Thank you. That's amazing. Awesome. <laughs> we got yeah. a lot of people and not much time. Gotta go fast. Uh, hi. I'm Hi, I'm Jacob sorry I missed your England. call, but you're from England. You leave a message. Oh uh, yeah. Hi, how are you? Hello. Um, okay, so I wanted to know if um, you had to pass down your powers to any character, ranger or not a ranger. Which character would that be? You. Oh, cl- uh, Someone in your I would season. pass my powers down to him because that was a cool question. Yeah. So another character in your season, supporting cast maybe, who would you give your powers to if you were forced to? I would, I would give have my powers probably to like powers. met up with one of the female rangers, became married, and passed my powers down to a new Power Ranger child. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah, my powers were too, too strong to pass on. <laughs> It wouldn't. It wouldn't be safe for anyone. It wasn't mine. For me. All mine. Mine. I think. <laughs> Greedy. So passing down would have to be somebody that came out. Yeah. 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 No, I, I understand that. And, uh, but that would mean I would. I would have to pass it to somebody on a season after mine because it would be passing down. I, the only one with the, like the mental capacity to, to handle it would probably be Dr. Kendall Morgan. Ooh. You know. <laughs> She, Claire, the Claire Blackwelder, she's out there. Yep. Uh, I think she could handle it pretty well. She could do the pink and then all the gold, silver stuff. That's who I would pass it to. Wait a minute. Does this include the paycheck as well? <laughs> are we selling? Are we selling our powers? <laughs> yeah. Right. Was that good? Was that? Yeah. Which wait? Pass it down to the Green Ranger. I heard that. Yep. Which Green Ranger? Okay, oh, yeah, Mila. he could use the powers. If Mila. you were if you were talking about Tommy, I'll be like, he, yep. he's already right. the strongest. All right, Move, running out of time. Moving powers. on. Did Dr. K have a love interest? Yeah, she right. was the uh, Green Ranger. Oh, my. Dr. K, right? Yeah. Did you just say that? Yeah. The Green Meal. Uh, the gr- Ziggy. Yeah. Ziggy. Yeah. yeah. Well, he has power. He has he has powers. Sorry. Yep. All right. Next question. Next question. Hey, what's up, fam? I just wanted to know, between all of your characters, who'd be the last one standing in a battle royale? My money's on... <laughs> my money's life? on Trent. You're going to put us uh, against each there. other. In real life or a character form? Characters. My money's on Trent. <laughs> my money's on Eric. Right. Okay, I, I okay, guys. Just Let's each other this easily. <laughs> Round of applause. Starting over here. Go! Oh, uh, say... <laughs> <Abu? laughs> Yeah. Give me your pity applause. All right, all right. Okay. You, the point. you guys can all decide for yourselves. Yeah, that's yeah, that gold finger. <laughs> that was that was all you. Hi guys. My question is for Mike, Cameron, and now Nikolai. Nikolai, thank you for coming. My question is, all the other six rangers on this table and others were the bad boy. 
You were the good boy, so Yay. how was that different coming in as you were the good guy? Me? <laughs> Me? Christian. Really fast question, bro. I mean, I was like, uh, who's that? Revenge. Is that for you? That question? I guess I was a question. I was a good boy. Okay, perfect. Cameron, me, and how was it being a good guy? It's yeah. Um, you guys want to start? It's really. It wasn't so different for me because I've always played good guys. I literally got my first boring. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, <laughs> I'm kidding. Ooh, it kind of kidding. was like I'm kidding. I, I'd never gotten a. I I just played my first villain like last year, so I, it was just kind of normal for me to just be mm. decent. So it was kind of normal. I didn't really. Oh, sorry, go on. No. For, for me, uh, I learned my lesson, um, and um, pretty much every character that I've played since has been the bad guy. Yeah. These eyebrows kicked in, and that's it. Like, uh, yeah, that's right. So um, I've been pretty much yeah bad every single project since. All right. That's awesome. Next question, fast. If you guys could play any Marvel or DC character, who would you play? Vladimir from Daredevil. <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry. That's Wait. Uh, I like how you said that you were like, Venom. <laughs> Thanos has Bane how many Infinity cool. Stones? Five? Six? Six? Well, I have, I have like 16 helmets on my chest. So. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Next question, really fast. Uh, hi, my question is for Eric. Uh, the reason you're the only Quantum Ranger is because you don't need any other Quantum Rangers. You can do your own forever quantum. Hey, hey, hey. This is what I've been man. saying. Yep. All right, next question. Hurry. <laughs> Good. Where do you think your characters are today, and what do you think they're doing? Right here in this chair, talking to you. <laughs> 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 Striving to get the next job. <laughs> uh, uh, owning a very rubber. cool hipster bar. <laughs> All right. America owns his own pool hall and married to Shayla. Um, Saying that mine was 20 years ago, probably some, walking with a cane. Um, <laughs> yeah. um, hi, my name is Mika, and I just wanted to tell you that I actually came from Finland just to yes. the convention. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Mika. Finland. Glad you and came. I wanted uh, to tell Dan Southworth that... Um, Eric was the best sixth ranger. Well, thank and you. the time force was awesome. All right. All right. I'm glad, um, it's so fun to have you. You are the best. Thank you very much. It's very nice. Okay. My question is for the guy who played Orion the Silver Ranger. How would you feel to wear all these other guys' helmets? Uh, and, then, and then at the end, uh, there was this giant war. Uh, and then all the rangers came back to just, like, beat up all the... All the bad guys, yeah. uh, and then all the way after that, they still made Power Rangers uh, another Power Ranger season. How long do you think this is gonna go on for? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Yeah, that's a. Those are two great. So how do? Okay, so number one, number one, how did it feel to wear all the hell? It's bulky. I can't move very well. That gold, that gold suit with the helmets on it. I literally, I can move my arms. About that much, <laughs> so it's not it's not comfortable. It's not practical for fighting. Um, and how they will keep making Power Rangers for as long as you people keep watching. Yeah. Hey, wait. Right. Do me a favor. You gotta come over and give us a high five, man. You gotta come up and give us a high five. That was just that was like so cool. That's a rad question. Yeah. yeah. All right. Can you jump up here? Walk here all go. the way down. Give fives to everybody. Here you go. Fives. Careful. Oh, doing okay, high five? fives? Yeah. Trip on a cable. Woo. All right. <laughs> Our last question comes from this guy who you've seen at all the other panels so far. We have nice dedication. Can you do all the morphs? The morphs. No, oh, can you do all the morphs? He's our morphin guy. Morph question guy. Well, wait. Do we do it one at a time? Do we do it one at a time? One at a time, yeah. Let's do it all at once. No, let's just do it all at once. All at once. That's it. All at once. All at once. All right. We're here. We got your back. So you guys gotta, you guys gotta count to three, and on three we're all gonna go at the same time, so all right? On three, so one, two, three. Get them started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Yep, yep. So ready? Who says it's all right, uh, all right, everyone. Ready? Everyone has to yell it out. Yeah. One, two, 
three. White Sands on sale, 4 p.m. Get gear. All right, everyone, and that has been our Shining Special Rangers panel. Let's give a big round of applause to all of our Special Rangers. You guys are so, so awesome. So much better than the other regular Rangers who have, you know, just the boring ones at the beginning of the season. Oh, yeah. So much better than that. Hey, for this weekend, you guys are part of the Power Ranger team, just so you know, just, right? You guys know this. Just to answer that one gentleman's question, Eric is on Mars in a space Winnebago. <laughs> all right.